Rheumatic heart disease is a big health problem in our country. We would like to tell you about our project called Padrino. In this project, we will check children and young people in the school to see if they have a healthy heart. We will use a small machine called an echo to look at children's hearts. We will check for rheumatic heart disease and any other heart problems. Rheumatic heart disease starts with a germ called strep. Strep causes sore throats and skin sores. Some of these children with sores or sore throat then get rheumatic fever a few weeks later. Children with rheumatic fever get sick with fever and sore joints. If your child gets rheumatic fever again and again, their heart can get damaged. This is called rheumatic heart disease. Over time, if these children with rheumatic heart disease are not treated, then they can get tired and breathless very easily. They can even get very sick and need a heart operation. Sadly, some young people can die because of rheumatic heart disease. People with rheumatic heart disease should get a penicillin injection every 28 days. This injection stops the strep germ making them sick again with rheumatic fever. It stops their heart getting damaged again. If your child has rheumatic heart disease, then the penicillin injections can stop their heart from getting worse. If a doctor or health worker wants to check your child's heart, they take pictures with a special ultrasound machine called an echo. They usually take lots of pictures with the echo machine and it can take a long time. In this Padrino project, we want to find a quicker way for doctors and health workers to check children's hearts. We want to see if taking only one picture of the heart is the same or even better as taking lots of pictures. We also want to see if we can teach people who have never done echoes before to use the echo machine to find rheumatic heart disease in children. We want to check the hearts of local children. If we find that they have rheumatic heart disease, we want to stop their hearts from getting sicker. We are asking for your permission to check your child in our project. You can say yes or no. It's up to you and your child. If you say yes, the Padrino team will look at your child's heart two times. First, a health worker will check your child's heart with just one echo picture. Then, an expert heart doctor will check your child's heart again and they will take lots of echo pictures. We will compare the results of the first and second pictures to find which way is better and quicker for children. The echo doesn't hurt at all. In fact, it sometimes tickles. Your child will have to take off the shirt to have the echo. But we will make sure they have somewhere private to do that and they can have a small sheet over them if they prefer. We will then ask your child to lie on the bed. We will put a small plastic object against their chest to take pictures of their heart. We put gel on their skin to make the pictures clear. The echo looks through their skin and shows a picture of their heart. The echo will take about 30 minutes and you can watch if you like. If we find any rheumatic heart disease, we will tell you and your child. We will check to see if any doctors who have checked your child before already knew about your child's rheumatic heart disease. We will also tell your clinic so that your child can get treatment. We won't tell anyone else so that your information is confidential. Even if you already know that your child has heart disease, it is still very good for them to join in this project. We can check your child's heart and it will help us teach our health workers to do echoes properly. This Padrino project is supported by Menzies, Malabam, The Health Clinic and Manningrida College. Thank you for being part of Padrino and allowing us to check if every child's heart is healthy. When the project is finished, we will give feedback to the school and the clinic about the results. Would you like to ask us any questions about Padrino?